Hello, uh, DR here and I have with me a uh, very big box that came from Asus Philippines. So without further ado, let's do the unboxing. So um, let's lift this lid right here. This is the uh, Asus Zenfone 4 Max. Right, the, the Zenfone 4 Max was uh, announced along with the uh, other new Zenfone 4 uh, products uh, last month. Now, um, if you would, if you guys would uh, would recall, uh, the the original Zenfone Max was uh, launched early uh, January of 2016, and then uh, when the Zenfone 3 pr uh, product line was uh, was launched, uh, of course the Zenfone 3 Max was uh, was also released. Now the first Zenfone form, uh, Zenfone 3 Max, was kind of okay. Um, it has a slimmer uh, form factor, and uh, it has a uh, four thousand milliampers of battery, which is one thousand milliampers short of the original five thousand milliampers. The the thing, uh, my problem with that uh, with that Zenfone 3 Max, is the uh, processor because it was using um, an MTK processor. Uh, I was I'm actually more biased with the uh, with a Qualcomm processor that is found on the original uh, uh, Zenfone Max. Well, fortunately, uh, Asus uh, was able to release a Zenfone 3 Max uh, with a with a screen size of 5.5 inches, similar to the uh, to the old one, and uh, it uh, it has a uh, it has a, a Snapdragon uh, processor, okay. But uh, so you, you know you have the slim form factor, you have a big screen, and uh, it's running on Qualcomm Snapdragon. But um, the battery is four thousand milliampere. So for the Zenfone Four Max that we have here, um, it has uh, five thousand milliampere's as uh, announced in the in the launch. You know, aside from the uh, from the big battery, this uh, this uh, Zenfone Four Max also comes with a uh, rear a dual camera uh, at the back. This is actually a very um, interesting phone uh, that Asus has released because uh, it's uh, it's uh, targeted at the entry level market. Uh, this would uh, this is actually priced uh, at nine thousand nine hundred ninety. For for this price, you already have a um, five thousand milliampere battery and a dual camera at the back. All right, so enough talking. Let me go ahead and um, take out the uh, the phone box. Uh, what's inside? So yeah, so I got a letter from uh, from Asus. So this is what I guess this box is one way for me uh, to test the capabilities of the Zenfone 4 Max, and probably I'll be doing that um, on a separate video. So, all right. So we have here, uh, yeah. So these are USBs, unique selling points, the pamphlet, and of course. My review guide so I'm gonna read that later all right uh, this box can be removed I don't know how this works but it's like uh, this this box is like uh, a big uh, projector or something like that um, and I'm gonna figure this out because I think this is one way for me to test the uh, camera of the uh, Zen Phone 4 Max but okay here we go. Let me move the box. Here we go. And um, just like the Zenfone 4 selfie that I've uh, unboxed uh, last month, uh, it seems that the uh, uh, the new Zenfone 4 lineup okay already comes with a clear case. Yeah. So. Um, so you don't have to purchase uh, third-party cases, which actually Asus rarely provides. 
So th it's a good thing that ASUS already provide uh, already provides it um, uh, inclusive with the package. As um, inside um, this small uh, uh, cover are uh, user guides and um, warranty booklet, and on top is the uh, SIM injector. And we have here the phone. So okay, we're, we're gonna discuss that in a short while. And the inside here are um, earphone buds. Okay. USB uh, cable. Now you might you guys might be asking what cut what type of USB cable is this? Um, it's using a micro USB cable, it's not using type C, so you know for those who have invested in a lot of uh, micro USB cables, you can use your own, okay? But for the charger, I recommend using the charger head that comes with the package. Why? Because as far as I know, uh, this charger that comes with the package from ASUS can now quickly charge a 5000 mAh battery. Uh, this was our issue with the um, Asus uh, Zenfone, uh, original Asus Zenfone Max, as well as the Asus Zenfone 3 Max. So um, Asus said that um, uh, the, the 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 charger that comes with the uh, with the package can quickly charge the Zenfone 4 Max's uh, 5,000 milliampere battery. So that I'm also going to test during the review period. And uh, we also have here a pair of uh, earphones, all right. And this is a USB on-the-go uh, on cable or USB OTG cable. So, what's the purpose of this? Well, the purpose of this is um, if you have a spare phone or you know you, your friend. Uh, has a phone that's uh, that that is running out of battery life, and uh, of course, and uh, he doesn't have a power bank, and you also don't have a power bank. Your Zenfone 4 Max can double as a power bank. So uh, that was actually um, that was that feature was also present in the original Zenfone Max, uh, but and um, you know they've uh, also. Uh, uh, brought this feature back again on the Zenfone 4 Max and uh, this time they've also included a USB OTG cable so you know you don't have to look, uh, buy one from uh, from your uh, accessory store it's now, it's now part of the package alright so here goes the phone let's remove it from the plastic there you go all right, so how does it feel? Okay, can you guys see it? All right, let me just zoom out a bit. All right. Um, the Zenfone 4 Max is, from what I remember, uh, I don't have the Zenfone 3 Max with me right now, uh, the 5.5 inch version. And I think that this one's thicker for obvious reasons because like what I've said earlier the Zenfone 3 Max only has 4000 milliampers of battery and this one has 5000 so obviously the weight that I feel on uh, on this phone is a bit heavier than what I remembered with the uh, Zenfone 3 Max however the good thing about the Zenfone 4 Max is even though it comes with a 5000 milliampere battery, the the thickness is actually quite okay. It's not that thick. It's not cumbersome. It's not um, as heavy as the original Zenfone Max. So it looks like uh, an ordinary um, phone, but you wouldn't know. Or you wouldn't know or realize that it comes with 5000 milliampere of battery. So, uh, but there's a slight, slight heaviness, but it's only slight. It's, it's not a big issue. So, uh, just like the other Zenfone 4 phones in the lineup, the 
a fingerprint scanner is now found at the front and uh, of course the back button is always on the left um, that's a that's an ACES standard uh, the multitasking buttons are found on the right and uh, the, you know at first look you you would think that it's uh, it's like an Oppo phone or even a Samsung at least because of the shape of the uh, fingerprint scanner the fingerprint scanner also doubles doubles as a home button at least from what I know based on the uh, on my experience with the Zen phone for selfie so uh, the the button cannot be pressed I mean uh, it's uh, it doesn't have any moving parts but you can tap on it to go home or you know um, to unlock the screen and uh, you have the uh, front camera over here and uh, it just added a flash a front uh, front flash for the uh, fr front camera you know in order for your selfies to be um, to help take uh, selfies during uh, low light uh, conditions uh, this is where the uh, sim card silos are found and if I'm not mistaken these are you uh, the the sim cards used for these for for this phone are two nano sim cards and uh, we'll find out if it's hybrid or not if it has a dedicated uh, micro SD slot the other the other side uh, we have the uh, volume rocker buttons and the power button just over here all right at the back is the aforementioned dual lens camera all right so um, what are the megapixel count uh, for the rear it's uh, the first camera is 13 megapixels and the uh, the second one is 5 megapixels with wide angle uh, with a wide angle lens so um, Basically, the second lens can let you take, um, you know, wide, uh, wide-angle photos, and uh, for the front camera, it comes with eight megapixels. Now, uh, the screen is uh, five point five inches, and based on my spec sheets, it's um, it's full uh, HD. It's uh, it only comes with a uh, IPS display with uh, two point five D. Uh, 2.5D uh, uh, curved glass technology, and uh, from what I, from what I've heard, this also comes with uh, coated with uh, Gorilla Glass. So you know, uh, um, not bad for a 9,990 uh, 9,990 uh, smartphone. So let's power this up. Okay, I'm gonna power this up. And I'm going to set this up for just uh, a few minutes and I'll be right back.